Good morning, fam. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for today. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's go ahead and get to Jonah. I'm in chapter three, verse one. The whale, the holding pattern that Jonah sent and put him in has been uh, released. The whale has spit him out on dry land. Remember this from yesterday? And I love chapter three, verse one. I think, dear brother, dear sister watching right now, I think chapter three, verse one is one of the most, uh, how do I say it? It's one of the most explicit metaphors of grace in the Old Testament. Bold claim. But I love what, what God here does in Jonah's life. Would you look at it with me? Chapter 3, verse 1. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, and then he tells him what to say. Anybody else glad that the God we serve is a God of second chances? I love this. Chapter one, uh, uh, hey, Jonah, go and cry out against uh, Nineveh, that wicked city, and tell them uh, 40 days and they shall be overthrown. And Jonah disobeys and he runs in the opposite direction. And uh, he doesn't listen to God. He tries to run from God, but he repents because God sent a storm after him on the sea and God sent a whale after him in the sea. And when he repents, God spins him out on dry land. And I love this because it tells me, tells me that when we repent of our sin and come back to God, anybody else glad that he doesn't put you on second string and he doesn't put you on JV, but he puts you right back in the game? I love it because God is not mad at Jonah. God is not upset with Jonah. God doesn't say, no, Jonah, you messed up. So you got to start the 12th grade over or you got to go back to first grade of being a prophet. No, Jonah, you've asked for forgiveness of your sin. You're washed and cleansed, buddy. Let's get right back to where you're supposed to be. And my Bible says the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time. You're watching this right now and there's something in your life that you didn't do well or didn't do right. You made a mistake. You said something you shouldn't have said to somebody. You said something that you should have kept to yourself or you kept to yourself something you should have said. You missed the mark. I want to tell you that Jesus loves you so much that when you repent of your sin, his word will come to you a second time. and. Maybe you're like me and you got a witness that it didn't come a second time. Can I get a witness that for me it came a fifth time and a ninth time and a nine hundredth time? Grace, 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 grace. I can only imagine that Jonah here is sitting here thinking to himself, you love me so much, you didn't hold me back, but you pushed me forward in your will and in your ways. He's the God of second chances. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.